Hey guys, what's up? iTech Expert here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to show you guys some shortcuts that I've made. These shortcuts right here, I've been working on them for some time now. Well, at least that goes for the top three one, which is iOS Shield, Shield Pass, and Chrono Compute. Right here, I got iOS Shield. This one lets you turn a name into a passcode or a date into a passcode. So you just need to, for example, if you want to turn a name into a passcode, you just need to type in that name that you want to turn into a passcode. Click done when you're done typing it. And now that name that you typed in earlier has been changed into a passcode. If you want to change it already, just click OK and it will take you right to the settings app and you can go and change your passcode. If not, just click cancel. The passcode has already been copied so you can just uh, put it anywhere that you want. The second one is date to passcode. So you can just select a date that you want to turn into a passcode. and you're done. Let me just mute my notifications here. All right, so for these other ones, uh, Shield Pass, this is a password generator. So right here, if I want to generate a password, which is all caps, for example, I can do that. Or if I want to add some numbers to it, I can just select numbers and then you just need to tap done. Uh, if you want a 12 digit, just enter in 12 or however long you want. So let me do 20, for example, click done. And now you have a 20 digit password. All right. If you want, you can also add some text to your generated password if you want. Otherwise, just click done here. All right, so for Chrono Compute right here, you can do some pretty handy things like uh, counting how many days are in between two selected dates. You can do r slash minutes conversions or whatever you want, time zone converter. I am going to do date range for now. Let's count how many days are in between two selected dates. There's a function description right here, so you can learn what it does. All right, so let's just do some random dates here. You can count how many days or weeks or months or years are in between those uh, selected dates or you can add all of it. I am just going to do the first one right here. And yeah, here is your answer. So there are 4,052 days till Jan 16, 2025 from December 13, 2013. After you're done, you can click done. You can copy that text if you want. You don't need to. If you want to rerun the shortcut, you can just type in Y, which stands for yes, or you can type in N for no. I'm just going to leave it as Y. It's already automatic. And let's just do now r slash minutes conversion so we are going to turn minutes into hours and minutes now we just turn how many minutes we want to turn into hours and minutes right here you would get this message right here that says to properly complete the conversion from minutes to hours and minutes you will now need to type zero in place of the number before the decimal when prompted to type the R's. So for example, 
you will type 0 0.5 if the number is 16.5. So for this one right here, 7.4, just type in 0 0.4. After you're done, click done, and now you'll get the answer right here. So 444 minutes is 7 hours and 24 minutes. Click done. You can copy or don't copy text, same as what you saw before. And I'm just going to do end here so we don't rerun the shortcut. And you're done. Alright, so for this next shortcut that I'm going to show you guys, this one is called iTools. It's basically just a tool for the App Store. So you can go get some information for a specific app on the App Store. So like uh, shortcuts. Okay, once you're done typing in the app name, you can also do the App Store ID for that app, if you know it. Uh, let's do the first one. Uh, you just need to select the region here for that app. So I'm going to do Canada. And right here, you'll see that app that you chose. There are other apps here that you can see as well. But this one right here is the app that we want to get some info out of. So right here, you can get the details out of the app. All right, so right here, you can get some details for the app, like uh, whoever made it, uh, the description for that app, uh, the artwork, store ID, or bundle identifier, or whatever you want. So let's do artwork, and you can see that I now have the shortcuts app icon. If you want, you can also go to my website, which is iconfighub.nlfi.app. So block the top here so you don't see my face. Alright, so just go to my website here, iconfighub.nullify.app and just scroll down till you find shortcuts right here. Just swipe between these uh, options right here. Let's go to shortcuts. And right here, you'll see all the shortcuts that I put on my website. There are a lot of options that you can choose from here. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day and peace.